In example 4 of Regulation 1.951-1B2, Individual A, a U.S. person, owned 100% of Corp. P, a controlled foreign corporation. Corp. P, in turn, owned 100% of Corp. R, another controlled foreign corporation. Corp. R earned $100 of subpart F income during the year. The $100 of subpart F income was treated as an inclusion in A's U.S. taxable income, even though A did not directly own the shares of Corp. R and A did not receive any cash from Corp. P or Corp. R during the year. The inclusion went directly from Corp. R to individual A, skipping over Corp. P. This skipping over of Corp. P is known as the hopscotch rule. The income inclusion hopped over Corp. P. As a result of the $100 of subpart F income, Corp. R generated $100 of previously taxed income, or PTI. Since Corp. R paid a dividend of $20 to Corp. P during the year, $20 of the PTI moved from Corp. R up to Corp. P, and at the end of the year, Corp. R had $80 of PTI.